The following is a presentation of RMG Sports, award-winning championship television. Guntersville is known as Alabama's Lake City. With shopping, dining, fishing, and more, this corner of northern Alabama is overloaded with things to see and do. Today, the lakeside serenity is shattered by the roar of engines on the south's fastest water as our coverage of Powerboat Nationals racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest starts now. Race fans, welcome to Northeastern Alabama, where Powerboat Nationals is ready to rock as part of the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest. Hello again, everyone. Jared Romesburg here alongside the RMG Sports crew. Thrilled to be in Alabama's Lake City for the first time with Powerboat Nationals. We have a ton of racing on tap, fans, but let's talk about Pro Tunnel 1 qualifying in the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest pre-race show. Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest, an extreme event on the South's fastest water. Nine, Jamie Duran started on the pole for the first of two PT1 heat races. When the fleet launched from the beach, series points leader and two-time series champion two, Lee Daniel, moved up from his fifth place starting slot to battle for the lead. But Duran pulled away with P1. Jamie's father, Dean Durand in the 60, was fighting with 57 David McMurray for third, keeping the fans on the edge of their seats along the shoreline. Durand would grab the slot and leave McMurray to work on staying ahead of 55 John Eddy for fourth. The nine looked fine out there and Jamie Durand won the first PT1 heat race. In the second heat, John Eddy had the double nickels first on the beach. But when the flag dropped, Lee Daniel jumped out with the lead as the fleet scurried behind him for position. Eddie and 57 David McMurray were side by side for second when Jamie Duran rocketed up and made it three wide. McMurray had steering issues and went dangerously wide out of the turn, allowing John Eddie and Jamie Duran to move ahead with Duran flying into the slot. Later that lap, Dean Duran in the 60 moved up to fourth. David McMurray was doing everything he could to keep the Nashville Marine 57 boat in contention, but Jim Robb would soon come up and slide to the inside, getting the Gulf Racing Fuels 13 into the top five. In the final laps, Jamie Durant had caught up to the leader, Lee Daniel. Daniel did everything he could to keep the nine to his rear. He was able to keep Jamie in second and take the heat win, but she had a better time in heat one and Jamie Durand earned the pole position for Powerboat Nationals Pro Tunnel 1 feature race in Guntersville. I'm just going to drive the best I can. Um, the boat's feeling good. I feel great. I know Lee's done a lot of work on his boat and it's ready, so I'm going to go out and do the best I can and hope to finish on top. Here's the starting lineup for the Pro Tunnel 1 race at the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest. John Eddy will start third with David McMurray and Jim Robb rounding out the top five PT1 starters in Guntersville. Fans don't move, the racing's just getting started. We have Pro Tunnel 2, Hydrocross, and so much more when we come back to Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest coming up right after this. This presentation of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest is brought to you by Pepsi. Grab summer by the bottle with delicious, refreshing Pepsi. Citizens Bank and Trust, small bank, big difference, member FDIC, by Budweiser, proud to serve those who serve, enjoy responsibly, Freedom Marine Center, award-winning sales and service, and by San Mina, what we make makes a difference. Welcome to Sand Mountain Park, a place for the community, for sport, for recreation, for fun. Opening in 2020, Sand Mountain Park and Amphitheater will offer premium sports facilities in one park. Not only will this be a place for events and fitness memberships, but a place where sports and recreation come together as one. 
Visit sandmountainpark.com to learn more about upcoming founding membership offers, community events, and everything Albertville will have to offer to the local and regional community. Sand Mountain Park, your community awaits. A lake is usually a place you go to, but for a place called Gunnersville, the concept of a lake is elevated to a higher level. Surrounded by 68,000 acre Lake Gunnersville, this mountain lake city offers unique shopping and entertainment and world-class recreation. Business takes a front seat too, with our shovel-ready business park and jet-rated airport. Whether you visit for a day or stay for a lifetime, jump in and explore all that Gunnersville has to offer. This segment of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest is brought to you by Marshall County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Adventure into the great outdoors. Come sail, hike, bike, and fish with us at Lake Guntersville. Fans, welcome back to Guntersville, where the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest is in full swing. The incredible crowd is being treated to live music from hitmakers Orleans and Firefall. Hydro Fest has something for everyone. The Kids Zone is sure to bring smiles to plenty of young faces. You can learn more about dozens of event sponsors and regional businesses. Of course, there's plenty of great food to enjoy and to help keep you cool. Plus, fans got a chance to meet their favorite Powerboat Nationals riders and drivers and get an autograph. Outside of Hydro Fest, there's always something to see and do in Marshall County. If you love the outdoors, Lake Guntersville State Park is a great place to visit. In addition to the many camping options, there's golfing, swimming, kayaking, and this amazing lodge that has over 130 rooms and an amazing view of the lake. You can charter a boat ride on Lake Guntersville, one of the top tourist destinations in Alabama. The 68,000 acre reservoir is famous for its largemouth bass and spectacular views, as well as all types of waterborne fun. Want to enjoy the outdoors from the indoors? Check out Cathedral Caverns, one of the world's largest natural cave openings. Humans have been visiting this amazing site for over 8,000 years. Its amazing rock formations bring people from around the world and led this to be declared a national natural landmark in 1972. Its year-round 60 degree temperature provides a nice break from the southern heat. Alabama is also home to nearly a dozen successful wineries. Located near Guntersville, Jules J. Berta Vineyards has won several statewide awards and offers amazing pizza to go with your choice of Chardonnay, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and many other delicious choices. And of course, if you're in Guntersville fans, you have to stop for a bite at Craw Mama's. This family-owned restaurant has been a staple in the area for over 30 years and offers amazing steak, incredible fresh seafood, and a unique southern charm that cannot be beat. Fans, we're just barely scratching the surface. Make plans to come to Marshall County, Alabama and experience everything this fantastic region has to offer. Now let's get back to the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest for highlights of Powerboat Nationals Pro Tunnel 2 feature race. 66, Steve Merlou earned the pole in qualifying and blasted away from the beach and the rest of the fleet. 83, Eric Weinzak held on to second with PT2 World Championship Series points leader 67, Leland Broge in third as they came down the front stretch. Three laps later, rookie Mike Harris got the 30 boat around Broge for third. But seconds later, Guntersville Lake reached up and grabbed the 30, bringing it around in turn one. Broge slipped back by, retaking third and bringing 41 James Klein around for fourth. Merlou maneuvered through the fleet, leading every lap there was to lead in Guntersville, taking the win in the Pro Tunnel 2 feature race. Merlou was joined by Eric Weinzak and Leland Broge on the PT2 podium at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest. Hold on tight fans, it's time for highlights from Powerboat Nationals Hydrocross Series. 2018 series champion Kyle Hayes earned the pole position for the Hydrocross main event, but his time there was brief. Horse Marshal Randy raised the flag and the fleet blasted off. It was 51, Christian Daly taking the whole shot and the lead. Daly won the last race in Knoxville, Tennessee and was looking to make it two in a row. 
However, his strategy to take the Joker buoy early proved costly, as both five, Kelly Smith, and 14, Keith Dill, moved around the Indianapolis rider, moving him back to third. Smith took the Joker buoy two laps later and came back onto the course ahead of Dill, with Daly coming along in third. By the time Keith Dill took the Joker buoy, the pack had bunched up behind him. Kelly Smith held on to the lead and brought Christian Daly, 72 Johnny Smith, and series points leader 22 Tom Killer Keller along the round with him. His new Huracan R hull sliced through the rough waters at Guntersville Lake with ease. And Team Fates Kelly Smith grabbed the Hydrocross main event win at Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest. Christian Daly and Johnny Smith joined Kelly Smith on the podium in Alabama. All right, fans, the big boats are making their way to the starting area. Don't move. Powerboat Nationals Pro Tunnel 1 boats are set to tear it up at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest right after this. Welcome to Sand Mountain Park, a place for the community, for sport, for recreation, for fun. Opening in 2020, Sand Mountain Park and Amphitheater will offer premium sports facilities in one park. Not only will this be a place for events and fitness memberships, but a place where sports and recreation come together as one. Visit sandmountainpark.com to learn more about upcoming founding membership offers, community events, and everything Albertville will have to offer to the local and regional community. Sand Mountain Park, your community awaits. A lake is usually a place you go to, but for a place called Gunnersville, the concept of a lake is elevated to a higher level. Surrounded by 68,000 acre Lake Gunnersville, this mountain lake city offers unique shopping and entertainment and world-class recreation. Business takes a front seat too, with our shovel-ready business park and jet-rated airport. Whether you visit for a day or stay for a lifetime, jump in and explore all that Gunnersville has to offer. This segment of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest is brought to you by MyLakeGuntersville.org. Together we can protect our quality of life and keep Lake Guntersville healthy. Race fans, welcome back to Guntersville, Alabama, where the final members of the Pro Tunnel One fleet are making their way to the beach, lining up for the start, because we are now just seconds away. Fans, it is showtime. Powerboat Nationals Pro Tunnel One fleet ready and waiting. This is the first time we've raced in Alabama, and thank you, fans in Guntersville. A huge crowd has amassed along the shores of Lake Guntersville. The fuel pumps are on. You can hear them, fans. The fingers are on the trigger. All eyes are now on the flagman as we say, drop that flag. And we're racing in Alabama. Jamie Duran nearly makes contact with Lee Daniel. She has to get out of the throttle and Lee Daniel loops around out of turn four. But Jamie Duran now on the inside, a great turn out of four. Here they go side by side for the lead as they cross the line for the first time. Who's it gonna be? Lee Daniel takes the lead by the skin of the nose of the number two gold neck mechanical contractor's boat. But look at Jamie Duran hanging right there with him as it going to one and two for the first time. Duran with another fantastic turn. She hooks around the buoys and now she goes to the inside of Daniel. Side by side they go. Lee Daniel now struggling back in second. He's creeping up on the outside of Jamie Duran. Here they go fans into turn three. 
They're gonna go shoulder to shoulder through the turns. Durand, once again, a fantastic turn. Durand out of four, stands that boat up, and Jamie Durand retakes the lead. She was the pole sitter, and she put the Naples Marco Island Everglades boat right back into P1. But here comes Lee Daniel on the outside. Daniel now honing in on the number nine. But once again, Jamie Durand, look at the turns, hugging that buoy, holding that first lane. The inside line of Annie Oval's the fastest way around, and Jamie Durand is holding that position. She's holding that lane, and now she's starting to pull away from our two-time series champion, Lee Daniel. She throws a rooster tail right into the face of Lee Daniel and absconds with the lead. We have a side-by-side -side battle for third right behind them, coming into turns three and four. John Eddy, he gets the inside line, and he's going to take third place away from David McMurray. McMurray in that 57 Nashville Marine entry has been having steering trouble all weekend long, fans. The power of steering has gone out, and he's had to muscle the 57 boat around these turns on Lake Guntersville. And man, that is no easy feat. You can see how he has to go wide. And in the meantime, the double nickels of John Eddy disappearing with third place, trying to catch up with Jamie Durand and Lee Daniel. You can see, fans, they're already coming out of turn four as John Eddy now just going into turn three. John Eddy trying to make a solid comeback after his dismal performance in Knoxville in our last race fans finishing dead last. Eddy wrecked in qualifying and just could not get the 55 boat back in shape. Well, Eddie finished last. Jamie Durand was hoping to win. She took the lead at the race's midway point in Knoxville. But then a caution came out when rookie Jake Alkema had an incident, putting her back on the dock right next to Lee Daniel. And Daniel got the jump on her off the dock, but not this time, fans. She was looking for some payback, and she's getting it as she's putting Jim Robb a lap down. Jamie Durand in the lead and is trying to stretch out her lead now. Guy that beat her in Knoxville is this guy, Lee Daniel. They call him the general. Both he and Jamie Durand are from the same town, North Augusta, South Carolina. And while they're friends and neighbors back in South Carolina, trust me, fans, there's no love loss on the water here as Lee Daniel struggles to catch up to Jamie Durand on her way to a history making moment here in Alabama. If Durand goes on to win this race, fans, she would be the first woman to ever win a Powerboat Nationals PT1 Series race. Lee Daniel in second trying to keep that from happening. And you can see the distance between first and second. Here comes third out of four, the 55 of John Eddy. Eddy's originally from Tennessee, but now he lives in Seymour, Indiana, the home of his boat sponsor, Badass Custom Truck Parts. Eddie is certainly representing them well here today, running third behind two very stout drivers. He's got to keep an eye on the mirror, though, that 57 boat of David McMurray ready to pounce back in fourth. But the boat everyone has their eyes on is the Naples Marco Island Everglades sponsored number nine of Jamie Duran. She's out in front. And she is looking fine in that number nine. And speaking of looking fine, look at all of the fans off to the left fans. A huge crowd here for Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest, and they are seeing what could be history today. Jamie Durant out in front, but can she stay there? We'll find out when we come back to Powerboat Nationals racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest after this. This segment of Powerboat Nationals racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest is brought to you by Fish Guntersville Lake. Catch your next big bass with us. Fans, welcome back to Northern Alabama for Powerboat Nationals racing here at the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest. There's your leader, Jamie Duran. She took the lead after the first lap and has not looked back. The North Augusta, South Carolina native looking to make history here in Alabama. She's already led the most laps a lady has ever led in Powerboat Nationals Pro Tunnel One Racing, and she's looking to take the checkered flag for the first time in her career and make history as the first woman to ever win a Powerboat Nationals PT1 race. We were just on board with second place Lee Dan, and you can see the distance she's putting between herself. There she goes out of turn four. And the number two Gold Mech Mechanical Contractors entry of Lee Daniel. You see that red two right next to his name fans as he gets by Jim Robb. That red two indicates that he is the points leader for the World Championship Series of Powerboat Nationals Pro Tunnel One Racing. He's our two time series champion. He's the defending series champion, but right now he's playing second fiddle to his fellow South Carolinian, Jamie Duran. Second place is unfamiliar territory for Lee Daniel. 
The last time he failed to make it to the top of the podium, fans, was nearly a year ago in West Virginia. Well, Daniel's used to being on the podium. Here's a guy that's looking for his first podium finish at Powerboat Nationals Racing. It's John Eddy out of Seymour, Indiana, originally up from upriver in Tennessee. John Eddy sponsored by his company, Badass Custom Truck Parts, out of Seymour, Indiana. He's had a solid weekend of racing at an event fans that I could only call absolutely fantastic. Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest. This event is amazing. The crowd size, I'm hearing in excess of 15,000. And you can see off to the right fans how deep they are along the lakeshore watching this fantastic race, watching what could be history being made by this lady, Jamie Durand in the Naples Marco Island Everglades boat. Lake Avalon in Naples, Florida is where Powerboat Nationals will crown its world champions. And I tell you what fans, Jamie Duran certainly putting her name into the hat. And aside from making history, a win here today fans would certainly put the number nine boat in contention for that world championship trophy. Jim Robb trying to get the Gulf Racing Fuels Hydro Fest sponsored number 12 boat up there. He's currently riding sixth, and he's got to get out of the way because here comes fourth place driver David McMurray in the Nashville Marine entry. Fourth place has been the position du jour for the Nashville, Tennessee native David McMurray. He finished fourth in Knoxville in race one of 2019. And here he is riding fourth in a boat that we can just simply say, fans, has been hard to handle all weekend long. He's had trouble with the power steering, and that forces the boat to go wide out of the turns. He can't hug the buoys like you see Jamie Duran doing, but he certainly has the power on the straightaways fans. Look at the 57, ripping right by in front of all the fans here, the tens of thousands that have gathered here on Lake Guntersville. He's in pursuit of John Eddy, but believe it or not, fans, John Eddy is right behind him, but he has his hands full. He's trying to stay on the lead lap because here comes the leader, Jamie Duran. Duran. On the inside line, a little bit of late race drama here, fans. Three wide in the back stretch. Jamie Duran's got to watch herself. She's got to thread the needle between third place John Eddy and the inside of the course. Jim Robb moved out of the way, but she just put John Eddy a lap down. That's right, fans. Jamie Duran has lapped all but one boat in the fleet today on what could be not just a historic, but certainly a dominating performance by Jamie Duran. The only other boat on the lead lap are defending series champion second place, Lee Daniel. No one has won more PT1 races in Powerboat Nationals competition than Lee Daniel, but today he's had to stare at the back of that number nine boat almost all race long. Now he's got to move to the inside of third place, John Eddy, as these two are going to go nose to nose. John Eddy in the 55, already a lap down. Lee Daniel in second, John Eddy's in third. Here comes Daniel on the inside. Eddie not giving him too much room. Eddie just has to maintain his line. He doesn't have to get out of the way. Here comes Daniel on the inside. Whoa, Eddie gets that nose up. John Eddie racing with Lee Daniel, lifts that boat up, almost blows it over here on the final lap. Jamie Duran has already come by. She's seen the white flag. The last thing she wants to see is the caution because she has had an absolutely fantastic weekend of racing, a historic weekend of racing. One more time through the final turns of this race and fans right along with the history making Jamie Durand as she wins in Alabama. Come on, come on, come on. Let's make it to the finish with the staff. Come on, come on. Woo! 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 We'll catch up with Jamie in the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest post race show when we come back right after this. This presentation of Powerboat Nationals Racing at the 2019 Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest was brought to you by the Marshall County Economic Development Council, growing our economy one company at a time. Pilgrim's Pride, Pilgrim's Chicken, delicious taste, quality chicken, find us at your local grocer. By Marshall County Gas District, affordable, efficient, reliable, serving you since 1953. Marshall County Legislative Office, bringing together citizens and state elected officials to address issues that matter. And by Visit North Alabama, from mountains and lakes to rockets in space. Fans, you're looking at history as Jamie Duran grabs the checkered flag for the first time in her racing career in PT1. 
And for the first time, a woman stands on top of the podium of Powerboat Nationals PT1 competition as we welcome you to the Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest post-race show, Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest, an extreme event on the South's fastest water. Lee Daniel and John Eddy will join Jamie Durand on the podium. Mikey Young is standing by with their race winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest brought us new history. Our first women champion in the Pro Tunnel 1 class, Jamie Duran, congratulations. Thank you, it was a blast. You gotta be super stoked, and, and I know that you have a huge team behind you. I do, and couldn't do it without them. I mean, starts from my parents, to my crew chief, Gail Schaefer, to everybody that helps. I mean, all teams, Don's team, Lee's team, uh, Lee and Billy couldn't run without them. The sponsors, uh, Naples Marco Island, uh, Duke Sis, Street and Trail Motorsports, my dad, I mean, it just, the list goes on and I'm sure I'm leaving people out. Well, I'll tell you what, you came out swinging, you got a heat race number one win, but then Lee Daniel beat you in the second heat. Were you a little worried going into the main? I knew it was, I was gonna have to be on my A game no matter what. Uh, I knew one mess up, he was gonna be right there and I just was gonna go out and give it my all and do the best that I can and I'm glad that we finished on top. Well, I'll tell you what, you did an amazing job, and I don't know if you heard the crowds here in Gunnersville, but they were all cheering for Jamie Duran. I did, and it was an amazing crowd. Uh, I mean, everywhere shoreline you saw a crowd, and it was cool to come out from underneath the causeway and come down and just to see all the excitement. And to everything from Thursday night to today, it was just nothing but excitement here, so it was a great sight. Jamie Durand is not only the first woman to win a Powerboat Nationals PT1 Series race, he's now the first woman to lead in the World Championship Series points. And we thank everyone with Guntersville Lake Hydro Fest for having us here and letting us have this great historic moment. For everyone with Powerboat Nationals, I'm Jared Romesburg. We'll see you 24-7 at powerboatnationals.com.